mashed potatoes. Thanksgiving's all about turkey, all about various cranberry sauces. But when it comes to the real hero of Thanksgiving, and pretty much any meal all year round, it's mashed potatoes. Right here I have 11 boxes of this variety. I have 19 boxes of these Idahoan potatoes, all powdered and dehydrated. All they're waiting for is some water, some butter, and maybe a splash of milk if you're feeling sassy. And I've got some gravy here, with which I'm going to top this deliciousness that is my bathtub. And then, we celebrate the true meaning of Thanksgiving? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open all these, I'm gonna put them in this bathtub, I'm gonna mix it up with some hot water. Hopefully water's hot by the time it gets in this, or else it's gonna be cold potatoes, and no one wants cold potatoes. And then, baby, we got a stew going. Except with potatoes. We got mashed, we got a potato stew going. Yeah. Kobe. So, LeBron. So, we're gonna be putting these mashed potatoes in this bathtub, and the only way to do that is with brute force. A delicate hand. If anyone decided that brute force was their first thought going into this, they don't know potatoes. They don't know, they, they don't know potatoes. So, let's get to work. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Mm. Check out those flakes. Mm. That's some meaty texture, huh? Now, uh, ordinarily I'd be using full potatoes, but there's a drought going on. The potatoes of this harvest just dried up, didn't have a chance. But I don't care about the environment, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to town on this one. Uh, Shaq, DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, alright. Uh, Bill Clinton. Mmm. Mmm, that smells bad. Joy to the Okay, so take a look at this madness that I've created right here. This is what roughly 35 pounds of potatoes looks like. Doesn't look like much on its surface, but it's just brimming with potential. You know, there's some people that like slime channels that just rub all over slime. Me? I like my taters. But you gotta wonder, will this turn into slime if I don't get the ratio of water right? To be perfectly honest, I don't even know if this water's gonna be warm the first time it comes out of this faucet. But the only way to do that is you gotta test it from within. There's like a dust layer on you. It's like you've been in here for a thousand years. All right, so we gotta get in there. Ooh, that's like a beach. It feels like I'm on the beach. Hand me that bucket there. In order to make sure that I got the right Temperature. Okay. Gonna quickly, like, bring it on. The hot. Plunk this down. Uh, uh. Is that warm? Oh, that's warm, all right, baby. Oh, that's warm, all right. Okay. Good cut. Oh no! Everything's fine. So this is warm. So I just gotta like guesstimate based on live interaction of the potatoes in the water, right? Oh, this is Tater. Oh, welcome to Tater Town. You know Mater from the Cars movie? I think you see where I'm going with this. Oh, oh that's, that's a smell. Ah, you know when your brain smells something new and it goes, danger! That's what I'm getting right now. Yeah, believe it or not, I've never actually made potatoes of this quantity before. <laughs> And I fed my in-laws. <laughs> you know, they say the sense of smell is the strongest memory. I'm gonna be on my deathbed. And I'm gonna try to think of my family, try to think of like my friends, all the good memories. I'm just gonna have a flashback to me in a bathtub full of mashed potatoes. And I can't tell if that's gonna be a good memory or a bad memory, so. Oh well. Sorry, loved ones. You've been replaced. Oh, that's the not good stuff, but it's that's the stuff. This is a thing that I've chosen to do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a pause on the water flow real quick, just cause I want to see. This looks like and has the consistency of what both goes in and comes out of a baby. Oh, oh! The grunting doesn't make this any less awkward. Oh! 
Did I mention that this video is gonna be completely disgusting because I, I swear I promised myself that I would mention that at the beginning as like a warning or a teaser. Ah, it's snowing! Ugh, Christmas can't wait! <laughs> oh, ooh, ah, the Potomac. No, plug up the dam! I'm like the little Dutch boy. I'm like that weird kid on the side of the road that makes mashed potatoes out of a bathtub. <coughs> I'm like Markiplier doing something stupid again. <laughs> oh yeah, do I have potato soup yet or is this some sort of whiskable substance? <sighs> ASMR. Well, I'm out of breath and I do believe that I'm probably gonna start sweating soon. Which is just gonna add to the flavor. It always needs a little more salt. But whisk! Oh! It's like pulling the sword from the stone, but in Ireland. I bet you didn't think that you were gonna be watching this today. Have fun deleting this from your browsing history. This whisk is fine. See, now it's got a delightful, uh, halo, cause it's dead. That's the potuscus. Okay, I, I have now cemented myself in place, but the good news is, Non-existent. This is the worst thing that I've ever done. I have reached a new low. This is not what I meant by better content. You know, it's the weirdest thing. These potatoes are both slippery and like cement, which means that either mashed potatoes are a lubricant or the opposite of that, a frictionant, a stickinant, a make it gooperant. <laughs> I'm gonna fall and die in a bathtub full of mashed potatoes. If I fall and die in a bathtub of mashed potatoes, I mean, honestly, that'd be the best. I mean, it's not the worst way to end. So, we've reached a juncture. It's, it's looking a lot like mashed potatoes, except with an additives of a few other fluids and substances that weren't originally meant for potatoes. But that's okay. We here at Markable Hour HQ like to innovate and always push ourselves higher and farther to reach the lowest point on the internet. Ah, that handle will never be the same. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Uh, ah, that's, that's not right. You know, even though I've not cursed at all in this video or made any sort of reference, I'm willing to bet this video is gonna get demonetized. But, 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 Big wampin' butts. We have got good potato here. Now when you can really, when it jiggles back at you, that's when you know you got a good mash. What? 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 Are you asking me if that's a butt? That's the Millennium Falcon. Duh. Uh, gotcha, Han, you're dead. Okay, anyway. So. We got mashed potatoes, but that's only half of the equation because the rest of the equation is in the gravy. Okay. Ah! Clean. We've got a bucket, which as we all know is the first step to good gravy. And we've got instant gravy, which I like everything in my life to be as instantaneous as possible. I ain't gonna wait for shit. I can employ the same strategy I used for the, the um, the, the whatchamawoozit, the, the hot chocolate. You gotta like bag them open, yeah. You can only get like two at a time. You just gotta like oomph the bags. You know, I think that's my problem. Like my brain and even like my mouth can be screaming at me. No, Mark, don't do that, you stupid idiot. It's not the right way. Or that idea is really dumb. I think I just rubbed grave me on my forehead. But my body just automatically is like, you wanna you wanna open them all and then have to do it all one at a time even slower than you would have done it before because I can't even get this one open. Let's sit in the bathtub of mashed potatoes. All right. So what we have here is a bucket of slop. Looks a lot like vomit because it's pretty close. Now I don't know how much water is necessary for this to become true gravy, but I think I know good gravy when I see it. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost positive I added too much water. I'm almost 100% it's not supposed to look like chocolate milk. Actually, that doesn't look like chocolate milk. That looks like toilet water. 
That smells good. It smells like dinner's on. So I gotta just. You know, I like to think that my channel can go from one day being completely wholesome and innocent and the next day being literally an idea that a toddler would come up with. And then go, whew, that was a bad idea, me. I better not do that. So when I'm eating my mashed potatoes, I like to do what I think a lot of people like to do, and that's form a caldera. Now a caldera is uh, the landscape that forms after a volcano has erupted. So think of the mashed potatoes as already been exploded out of everywhere. It leaves this gap in the middle. And over time, that caldera can turn into a lake when you have gravy. Introduced to the mix. This is the greatest thing I've ever done. Okay, mysterious happenings. The gravy is draining somewhere. I don't know where. I may have somehow created a magic smell, a magic spell that created a portal into another dimension. You know how in Minecraft you put the nether bricks around something and then you just light it with a flint and somehow it magically turns into a portal into the nether? This is a portal into the realm of gravy. All right, well, dimensions into otherworldly realms of gravy aside, I think what we have here is a delicious treat that can't be beat. You know, I've, uh, I've eaten some pretty terrible things in my life. I've, uh, I've eaten a pig testicle. I've done hot sauce challenges. I've eaten many peppers. Um, that is pretty up there. This is what I imagine Matt Damon had to eat when he was trapped on Mars for a year. Well, you know, I didn't get this potato to eat. Um, potatoes have many uses. Uh, first and foremost of which is uh, it's incredible for the skin. And if you just get enough, oh, mm, ah, relaxing, ah, now that is what I call a good day. Mm-hmm, okay, all right. Somehow this, like, you wouldn't think that this would be grosser than the hot chocolate challenge. Or you might exactly think that. So, anyway, that is the uh, bathtub mashed potato thing that I did. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you all understood the true meaning of this holiday and what it means to give thanks for all that you have in life and what it means to give thanks to every opportunity that comes your way. You know you can conquer anything if you believe in yourself. So if you come up with this thought, don't do it. Just don't. Some things, some lessons are, are, are taught to you to not do. Bad things happen to good people because they need to learn from the experience and then grow as an individual. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Okay. How do I get to the shower? Ooh. <laughs> ah. A long time ago, in a video, I said that I might be a potato. I hope you all know that that was my hint for my new ego, potato flyer. Everything else was just leading up to this point. I planted seeds of doubt. Please, someone go collect a timeline of every hint leading up to this moment where I reveal the great and powerful potato flyer. And that everyone will know for a fact that I'm the genius of egos. I have the best video ideas. Nothing can stop me when I put my mind to something, no matter how many people tell me it's a bad idea. And nothing will keep me from knowing what I want to know and creating what I want to create. I took a hiatus for this very reason. It was all leading up to it.